Dude, Jeff, he was talking about how his, his grandma fell and died. I'm sorry, my condolences. And, and we were talking about that. It reminded me of the, one of the most traumatic things that happened to me, but also the other people. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys a story. We're like, wait till the end before you're like, fuck this guy. All right, just let me finish the story. But I'll tell, I'll tell you. So I may or may not have hit two elderly women with my car last year. <laughs> okay, so let me explain. Nobody taught me how to drive, right? Growing up, nobody taught me how to drive. I didn't get my license until I was 25. I grew up in Vancouver. I got great public transportation. I lived here when I was younger. And then I got to LA. I was like, all right, I'm in LA now. I gotta get a car, right? So I bought this piece of shit, thousand dollar car, and just started driving it around, almost dying constantly. <laughs> Eventually, I got my license, right? I got good enough, and I went and took the test and got my license. <laughs> and, then, and then, so like two weeks after I got my license, I'm feeling really confident, right? And I'm cruising around with one hand on the steering wheel, just fucking doing it, right? And so I was going to make a right turn at a red light. Perfectly legal, tricky maneuver, I know firsthand, right? And so, you know when you're going to make a right turn at a red light, right? And you're chilling there and traffic's coming, and then eventually you're gonna see a gap in the traffic. And when you see a gap, if you can make that, you fucking gun it. Right? You fucking gun Because the last thing I want is the guy behind me thinking I'm a bitch. I want him thinking I second guess myself. You know what I mean? Fuck that. That's not happening. So I'm at the red light and we're waiting forever and the light's just not turning green. And traffic just keeps coming. Then finally I see that in the distance I see this gap. I'm like, fuck yeah, this is my chance. <sighs> Here we go. And I can feel the guy behind, I can feel the guy behind me just rubbing his horn with his fingers. <laughs> just having a horn. I'm like, oh, I dare you to not make this turn. So I feel it. My heart starts racing a little bit. And in the time it takes this car to go from here to here, not one, but two old ladies had walked in front of my car. <laughs> So I'm going, I'm chilling here, I'm looking, this guy's being a dickhead. And, and I feel this, I see this car coming, the car's coming, I got my chance, and I fucking hit the gas. And then all of a sudden I hear, look <laughs> up, <laughs> and two old ladies that hit the hood, and they fell down. Keep in mind, I wasn't going that fast, I was going like five miles an hour, but you don't have to be going that fast when you're hitting two old ladies. <laughs> Sorry, and they're like, why didn't you look? And I'm like, look, I, I, I grew up in Vancouver, they have good transportation. <laughs> and I moved to New York, and they had the subway, and I'm like, just call 911. I'm like, you're right, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry, you don't need my life story. So I, and I called 911, and the guy's like, 911, what's your emergency? And I'm like, I just hit two old ladies with my car. And then he goes, all right, and what kind of car were they driving? <laughs> <No>. <laughs>